Thanks for joining us here at Beetaholic. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bottle cap necklace using epoxy stickers. For this project, the supplies you're going to need is a ball chain with a clasp. You can either buy a pre-made chain or you can buy it by the foot and have as long of a chain as you like and then just buy the clasp separately. You're going to need a six millimeter jump ring. I have one here in an antique silver plate finish. A bottle cap. I have a blue one here. There's a wide array of colors to choose from. You're going to need a sheet of epoxy stickers. You're going to need some images to use. I've chosen a collage bird sheet. And you're also going to need some glue. I've chosen a white nun design glue. The tools that you'll need are a couple pairs of pliers to open your jump ring, a pair of scissors, and a metal hole punch. This is a round one in 1.25 millimeter. Simple mechanism for punching through bottle caps. So to begin making our necklace, I want to first go ahead and I'm going to use uh, the same bird claw sheep as one which is well loved already. And I also have a sheet of the resin epoxy stickers, which are also well loved, you can tell. And what you want to do with these is you don't want to remove the backing or the front coating yet. You just want to go ahead and cut out one of the epoxy stickers. And you want to place it on the image you want to use and look through it. Just peer through it. Get an idea of where you're going to want to position it. When you feel like you have a good idea, go ahead and can, I find it easiest to actually remove the front as well as the back. The front tends to get in my way, but if you're okay with it, you can leave that front on. Carefully peel away the backing. You can tell that these are flexible. Try not to get any fingerprints into the adhesive. Flip it over and line it up on your image how you want it. Press into place. If you're worried about getting too many fingerprints, you can go ahead and put your backing over it while you press it onto play, into place. Your image is now adhered to the epoxy sticker, so now I'm just going to go ahead, cut around it generously, and now I'm going to carefully cut along the edges of this sticker. Now it is possible to cut the epoxy sticker, so you do want to be careful here. Now that I have my image cut out, I'm going to press it firmly to the epoxy sticker. I just want to re reinforce that bond. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some nun glue and I'm going to take a little post-it note, pour some onto it. Now at this point you can either use a paintbrush to apply it to the back of your image or I actually just like to use my finger. Make sure you get it all the way around getting over to the edges. Just make sure you don't get any on the front side. So you're hand, handling this pretty carefully. And then just drop it into your bottle cap and press it into place. Now we're going to let this dry for at least 20 minutes. Welcome back. Hopefully it's been about 20 minutes where your sticker is now fully dry within your bottle cap setting. Now I'm going to take my Euro punch, round hole punch, figure out where I want the top to be. And I find it a little bit easier if you're going to punch, if you punch into one of the little recessed areas, just like that, you feel it grab, release. And now what I want to do is I want to take my jump ring, open it. into that hole, close it shut, I'm going to take my ball chain, open the clasp. If you're not familiar with how a ball chain works, it's real nice because you can open it from either direction. And I'm just going to thread it through my jump ring. Close my clasp back up, and there you go. You have a bottle cap necklace using an epoxy sticker.